Okay, welcome back to another uh, video here. Um, we were as a dummy here um, in a uh, exercise that we, train exercise we were doing, but we've just had a nine and nine call, so we're gonna have to abandon that coming down the tower. We've been asked for mutual aid down to the uh, the airport here. So we're just going to run out and jump into our fire engine, Echo 411, that we're in today. You can see the doors are all open, ready to go. as we get ready to go here we're just going to quickly uh, set our route down to the airport mutual aid um, so we want to go down to this area of the airport here okay so we're now ready to go so let's see how we respond in a uh, fire engine come out the sirens are on Clear from the vehicle to our left. Obviously, we're in a big, heavy uh, class two vehicle, so our speeds are going to be a lot different. Looking to our left and checking behind as we come through the giveaway there. Speeds are up to 45 miles per hour, coming up to 50, which is about right for a fire engine thereabouts. nothing ahead of us right now so we're just going to leave the blue lights on cancel the sirens at this time so we're looking for traffic from our right and from our left turning right as we come down nice central lane position in a big heavy fire engine siren turns are back on moving out to our left looking for a reaction we have a nice reaction from that driver looking for a reaction from the, uh, the car ahead Lane opens up on our left, so we're going to use this left lane. We have a nice reaction from that car. So the lanes are now merging back to one here. So we're going to keep out to the left, trying to get a better reaction from this uh, cover run. We're not going to get one, so we're going to move into a hard shoulder. Back over, check my mirror. Uh, at this point, again, no sirens required, so we cancel the sirens, leaving the blues on, back on to the progress. So we're looking right up the road ahead of us, obviously we can see there's some nice sharp bends and there's a vehicle ahead just going round them. We're not quite there yet, in a position to overtake, so we're just going to follow the road round at this point. Back on to the siren tones now, look for that reaction, we have it. We have a left lane turning left, which we can use. The left lane continues on here, so we're just going to stay in that left lane. Looking for traffic. Apologies about my phone there. Going off of the recording. So we're still looking for traffic ahead. The reaction we've got means we're going to have to use our hard shoulder on the right again. Same with the truck, we're not really getting a positive reaction from this truck. No, we just squeeze by on our right, so we're going to get going. We have the lane to the left side here, so we're going to use that as we come back through. It merges into one again. So we're looking for a reaction again from this car in front. We have it. We too to say thank you. Obviously, be courteous to our drivers ahead. As we continue down here, we have obviously the yellow hatched area we can use. Looking to try and avoid that though and get these cars to move over. 
this one has just stopped for us to allow us to go past, and we'll use the yellow area. So at this point, we cancel the siren turns again. Max speed is 70 miles per hour, which is about right again for a fire truck. In fact, I believe a lot of them are restricted to about 70. Back on the siren toes to alert traffic here, looking at the traffic that was coming from the right, looking at the traffic from the left here and turning, obviously looking for traffic on the right as well from the shopping complex that might be exiting, and again there's another junction on our right here, so we're looking for traffic from our right again. We're aware that that driver has stopped and given us room, so we can go off the siren tones again at the moment, back onto just blue lights, making progress. Give it just a bit of air horn here with the blue lights to see if we get reaction. No, nope. so we're back on the sirens and we'll come around. Yeah, no sirens required right now, so we'll turn them off. Save us all a headache and the members of the public. Again, we have to be appropriate with our siren use. The use of emergency warning equipment. There are strict regulations on it, so We'll do this appropriately. So I can see the traffic ahead building back up now. Coming to a stop at the red ATS. So we're going to come back onto the siren tones. The red ATS has now gone green. So we're safe to continue through at this time. Looking at the traffic ahead though. It just slowed for a red ATS. Gone red now. So we're aware of that as we come on through. Traffic's building up again here. We do have a slight reaction, but we're going to change siren tones just to make sure they're aware of our presence. So we move over to centre lane, looking in our right mirror, moving to the right. Back to the change siren tones again. We're going to go around in our left lane, because that's where we have the gap. We have centre white line here now, where the driver's moved over. And we're coming to our right lane here for the right turn. Nicely done. Into our left lane. Slight change siren tones as we come through there. Back onto the progress. So we're looking at this biker here, so we're going to go around to the right, which is our safest way. And through. Going to be turning right here. We've got a reaction from that driver, which is brilliant. We're aware of our junctions right and then. The uh, slight slalom to the left, offset junction. Coming back up to the red ATS, so we're back on the siren tones. Looking at traffic from our left and right. Looking especially again left and right here, coming round to the right. So we're looking to make sure we've got that reaction, which we have. Back through, onto the progress again. So we're looking obviously to our right mirror, into our right lane here to go straight ahead. There we go, we have a reaction from the driver there. We're going straight on through this red ATS. So I'm looking to our left lane, nice and clear. Slowed slightly by that driver, so we were ready and waiting to react. Same as with that one. <coughs> so again, we're going to come through into our right lane here. We're going to keep right as we come off. Fly the air horn as we come in, just to alert the traffic that we're joining. We're going to come down to the left hand side here, just towards the airport fire station. Cancel the siren tones at this time. No longer need them. We're going to pull up to the security gate. Blue lights are on, waiting for the barrier to raise, which it normally does, but doesn't seem to want to today, so there enough. There you go, security gate has been open for us as we come up to the fire department. We're going to come up 
round this way because the report is that the fire is at a plane over here. Following our taxiway here of traffic, we're going to pull up here. So here's our report then for uh, the fire. So we're going to put our appliance in a fend off position here and with the pump end towards where we need the hoses. Now we can jump out here and obviously set ourselves up to fight the fire with our breathing apparatus. And uh, there we go, we're ready to go guys. So, hope you've enjoyed the uh, video again here and uh, feel free to like, subscribe to see more from us in later videos. Have a good one guys, thank you very much for watching.